Hello and welcome to class. This is another very chill, slow paced, relaxing yin yoga practice. And today we're focusing on the hips. All you need for today is not even your mat. If you just want to do this on the carpet or on the floor, whatever is comfortable, that's perfect. If you have, grab a couple of pillows. I'm sitting on two pillows right now or a couch cushion or bolsters, whatever you can use throughout this practice to make this experience more comfortable and more relaxing for you. We will begin today in the pose called child, which is very similar to child's pose or balasana from vinyasa or hatha yoga. Let's come into the position. Put one pillow on your thighs or maybe two pillows even if you want. There's really no right or wrong. You use the props for your practice to make this as comfortable as possible for you so that you can really melt and relax. We're not holding any poses. We're not using any strength. We are more so surrendering into them. So let's surrender together into child. I like to place my forehead on a pillow as well. So just set everything up and get comfortable. Let's stay here for about two minutes. In yin yoga in general, we're doing a lot less poses and they're all very passive. And you're staying in them for several minutes. Observe the breath. Feel the breath fully coming in and out through the nose. Feel the lungs expand, feel the belly pushing down towards the thighs. Soften the body, soften the breath. Put all the things that happened today and all the things that you have planned for the day aside. So you can be fully here, fully be Focus on you and enjoy this experience of a practice. Let the breath guide you more into relaxation, calm. Slowly get ready to release. Take your time to push yourself out of the pose nice and slow. Move the pillows to the sides. You can move on your mat into shoelace pose. I will rotate on my mat, but you can stay wherever you are. It's basically like a full cow face in yin yoga, in hatha yoga or vinyasa. So you try to stack the thighs on top of another and the full expression would be that the knees are also stacked. So for some of you, this is more something like this. For some, the knees are really stacked. Doesn't matter, just get comfortable. This is working mostly on the outer hips. Just be careful as you move and transition with the knees so that you don't feel any sensation in the knees. I like to lean forward so that I can really bring that top knee down and then slowly set the hips back. You can 
put a pillow underneath your hips if you want to just get comfortable here. Very good. And then you can put a pillow underneath your chest, between the chest and your right leg, to then forward fold and melt down. Maybe rest your head on that pillow as well. So as you can see, it's really all about getting comfortable. Start nice and easy. You can always go deeper if you feel like it. We're here for about three minutes on this side. Close your eyes, relax. Continue with the breath. Slow it down. It's all about slowing down. If there's anything uncomfortable here, then readjust. Make it work for you. This is not the practice to move through or power through anything that's uncomfortable. Notice what's coming up. Oftentimes, while we're staying for so long in a, sit, a certain shape, the mind can bring up all kinds of stories, especially while we're working on deep stretches and especially going deep into the hips like today. Sometimes the mind brings up some stories Just allow this to happen. No need to analyze it right now. Let it come up. Let it be. And let it go again. You can always take the time after this class and journal and write down some thoughts. But right now, do your best to stay with the breath. Last few breaths. Get ready to move slowly, very slowly. Push yourself back up. And we will transition to the other side. Be careful with the knees as you do so. Use the hands to help the legs because sometimes if you're in those poses for so long it feels like we aged like 50 years and it's hard to move. It's very normal. So shoelace, full cow face on the other side. The left leg is now on top. Lean forward if you want to really stack the legs and slowly send the hips back without forcing anything. Very good, put a pillow or two or three or four between the chest and the thigh. Maybe you even stay upright, that's also okay. And let's surrender wherever you are for three minutes. 
get really comfortable here. This is the practice to be comfortable. Maybe it's your first time doing yin yoga. Welcome to the practice. Amazing effects on the body to really shift into the parasympathetic nervous system more, activating it more, which is our relaxation, rest and digest mode. And really everything needs to be in balance. So that means you cannot always do yin yoga only. There's a time and place for yin yoga. And there's a time and place for a strong practice or a strong workout. If you always do one thing all the time, then things get out of balance. So if you're one that's, that likes to work really hard at the gym, martial arts, power yoga, that's fantastic. Do it as often as it feels good. But also be wise about the practice and your body and take at least one day a week where you just chill and rest. Maybe do a yin class like today. On the other hand, if you are someone that's always doing yin, always doing restorative and a very gentle form of practice, you are most likely missing the strength the heat, the energizing force and energy and experience of a strong practice. So for you, you might want to add one, two, three days of a strong practice into your week so that you have a nice balance. The more I practice, the really the more I really learn that it's all about the balance. Life itself is really this balancing act of all the energies, balancing all the energies, balancing the opposites, the extremes. So that you can live your life more in the middle. Go that middle path. where everything is in perfect balance. But to know where the balance in the middle is, you need to sometimes touch the extremes. Last three, four breaths in silence. Surrender, relax, breathe. Slowly release. Push yourself up nice and slow. Move the pillows to the side and come out of the pose. We're coming into dragonfly pose, which is not an arm balance in yin yoga. It is a seated straddle forward fold. So bring the legs wide apart. Make sure you sit on the sits bones. Very good. Maybe move the glutes to the sides. And then walk the hands forward, fold down. Now if you cannot get comfortable here, then you can again use those bolsters. You can build a little tower here so you can put your chest down. And relax. Enjoy. Enjoy the journey inwards. Follow the breath deeper into your heart. 
open that heart up, go deep with the breath, with your awareness, with your attention. It's a powerful energy that you're putting into the heart by focusing on it, by breathing into it. We're here for about three minutes. Focus on the breath. If a distraction comes up, redirect your breath. Redirect your awareness, your focus to the breath. Stay present. We're here for about one more minute. I feel like I could stay here forever. <laughs> maybe it's the same for you. Maybe not. It's also changing for me. Some days I can stay here for a really long time. feels really good. Very calm. Some days I just stay for a short time and it just doesn't feel good. Or I want to go to the next pose. Every day is different. So if this feels extremely good for you right now, just hit pause. Stay longer. And then continue when you feel like it. Otherwise, slowly release, walk the hands back, push yourself back up, move the pillows to the sides. Now use your hands to grab underneath the knees to help bend your legs. And let's come into a seated position with crossed legs. Use your pillows to sit on. that you can, you can get comfortable. Sit tall, doesn't matter which leg is in the front. Just sit cross-legged if possible or sit on the heels. Close your eyes, sit tall. Feel the support from the earth underneath you, from that support from those roots lengthen up through the spine. Draw the shoulders down, relax them down, lengthen up through the crown of your head. Continue to observe the breath. How the air is coming in through the nose, filling up the belly first, then the chest, then going up into the head. On your exhale, you do the opposite. You release that air down from the head to the chest to the belly. 
and repeat. Without changing the breath, without controlling it, let it be at its natural rhythm. You can continue here in the seated position if you like for the seated meditation to finish up your practice. Just remain in the seat, breathe, relax. For one more minute, for five minutes, maybe for ten more minutes. What do you need right now? Do and give your body exactly that. Or you might want to transition on your back for Shavasana and finish up there. I thank you very much for practicing today with me. And I will see you in the next video for the next class tomorrow. With love and gratitude, Namaste.